What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 15 Newcastle United career mode. In today's episode we have two matches, the first of which is another Champions League match in the group stage against none other than FC Barcelona. And then later on in the episode we have a match against Manchester United in the Premier League, so two big opponents Two world-class opponents. Now, speaking of Barcelona, I'm really hoping we can get some sort of... I think we can get a draw out of this match, but uh, we'll soon see whether or not we do. Uh, we are versing Barca in the group stage. We are favourites with them to go through at the group stage, but to be quite honest, seeing as we've got an 88 striker up front, Antonio Gretzmann's 85, we've got Jovetic, Remy Cabela up front. Like We should be actually nearly drawing with, with Barca, especially in these group sort of stages, so... I think that's a realistic target. That's what I will be happy with, but uh, we'll soon see if that happens or not. Guys, I just want to quickly recap the last episode if you haven't gone and seen it. We end up winning 1-0 uh, at home against St. Etienne, and it was Karim Benzema uh, to be the only goal scorer of that. Then we went down to the Emirates. We went down to London to verse the Gunners, Arsenal, and we end up smashing them. And really putting on a nice uh, game of football, essentially. We end up winning 4-0. Uh, Karim Benzema picked up one. Antonio Gretzman picked up uh, one goal as well. And Jovetic picked up the man of the match, scoring two goals. Now, speaking of Jovetic here, he ends up starting off the scoring at the Camp Nou against Barcelona. It was actually quite surprised for him to actually get a shot off there. But Benzema ducking and diving past the Barcelona defense, weaving as well. Couldn't quite get the finesse off. Would have been a fantastic goal, to say the least, if you can manage to get a little bit of accuracy on it. But Messi manages to whip it in off the corner kick. It falls short to Rakitic and far out. Neymar laid it off to him, but what a shot there. Sergio Busquets manages to nearly find Neymar, but my defense quite comfortably cleared it. And Langerak wasn't tested in the, in the end. But Jovetic was all over the Barcelona defense here. It falls short back to Benzema, but Suzoko just a little bit slow. Nearly made it a 2 0 for them. Messi probing, but full short to Busquets. Messi gets the shot off again, and my defense is holding strong. So we're still currently 1 0 up in the 73rd minute. Will Barca get one back? Whips it into Sterling. Full short to Iniesta outside the box. We give Iniesta too much space. The Newcastle United defense, and they capitalize on it to make it 1 1. So we had a good, a good run, keeping. Um, Keeping keeping ahead of Barcelona for like 75 minutes of the game. But after that first goal, Iniesta was just on hand. He manages to through ball it to Rakitic. And Rakitic just punishes me with a venomous volley. Making it 2-1 at the Camp Nou. Which is disappointing. Hey, you win some, you lose some. We weren't playing particularly bad in the defense we were. We had a lot of chances for us. We weren't clinical enough. And Barca took a... Um, Took chances on our exposed defense, but pretty good goal there by Rakitic, and uh, Langerat was quite honestly beaten. Santon whips it into Benzema, trying to get one back. The I don't even know how Jovetic manages to whip that in, but Matic was uh, not there. Santon probing again, the Italian trying to get one more back, trying to get a draw for us. Whips it into Benzema, but no, that is how the match will end. So guys, if you are enjoying this FIFA 15 Newcastle career mode, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like. I do put a lot of effort into these videos, and a simple like really goes a long way. It puts my channel out there, and I'd really appreciate it. Also, we're talking about likes and whatnot. If you've ever liked a video, you've favorited a video of mine, you subscribe because of this series. I thank you guys. Absolutely fantastic, and I wouldn't be where I am as a YouTuber without you guys' support. So, Newcastle and United flourish without... La Soga. So um, he's actually been doing quite well, apparently, from like the news headlines. La Soga. Sad to see him go. He was a solid, um, fresh off the bench player, but I do think Karim Benzema is a, a let's be frank, a quite a, a better quality player, and uh, he's really made an impact playing for Newcastle United. But we have to do have a big match today, another match in the rain. So this is a rainy episode, typical. I always seem to be playing in the rain in this Newcastle United career mode. We are versing Manchester United at Old Trafford, and they are having a horrific season so far. They're currently sitting in 11th with only 8 points, and uh, Jovetic there nearly starts off the scoring, so you can see why they were a little bit shaky. Di Maria manages to whip in a free kick, but lucky for Langrak, he wasn't chested, and Jovetic was really all over Manchester United. He manages to find Matic, Matic with the finesse, 
but the Manchester United keeper saves quite comfortably. But Javier Hernandez nearly starts off the scoring for Manchester United. I'm really too sure why they're fielding him, to be quite frank. Um, but uh, yeah, we had a couple of early chances in the first half. No, no side could really be that clinical. Antonio Valencia manages to get his shot off and hit the post. Karim Benzema starts off the major first highlight with a, a possible goal-scoring chance. Managed to get brought down in the penalty box in the 75th minute. It just was this was one of these matches where no no side could take their chances. It was slippery, wet in the rain, and I was actually quite curious to always see. Um, my penalty kick takers, but even though Jovetic, um, even though Benzema did a drag, and I wanted to go with Jovetic because um, I really just wanted to get a goal. We want, it's a nil-nil, and I really need to score here. So Jovetic puts it straight down the middle and starts off the scoring at Old Trafford. So we're one nil up against Manchester United. Fantastic result so far. I'm not really too sure why they're not fielding David De Gea, but it's quite interesting. I don't know. I still I don't know why it's so weird with the Manchester United AI. They are the field David De Gea or Lindegaard, and sometimes they even feel like Ben Amos. It's just extremely inconsistent. You'd be thinking you'd be playing David De Gea or I would be playing David De Gea at nearly every single game. Remy Cabela with a free kick here. The free kick specialist nearly <laughs> nearly creeps one in there. He has scored so many free kicks for him. I nearly feel like he, he's robbed every time. But Antonio Griezmann manages to hold possession. Three balls it to his Frenchman uh, counterpart. But the shot went, goes wide. Jovetic manages to find Benzema. And Benzema in the 90th minute puts it without a doubt that we are going to beat Newcastle United. Uh, sorry, Manchester United on the day. 2-1. And it was a nice little through ball there. Phil Jones really just outpaced, outgunned in the 90th minute. I could see a little bit of fatigue. And it was good to see Benzema actually hit it with the outside of his boot with the right to make it 2-0 at Old Trafford. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you've watched all the way through, I really do appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like on this video, support this series and my channel. And of always, and of, and always I'll be bringing out more career mode tomorrow for you guys. Thanks a bunch for watching. Simpsy out.